Single family and total housing starts, according to the Census Bureau's most recent release, are down 25% and 22% respectively year over year. A large portion of the building materials required to construct homes are traditionally transported via flatbed. The downward pressure on housing has a direct correlation to flatbed rejections or the amount of contractual freight carriers are denying from shippers. Since the beginning of the year, that compliance rate has gone from above 20% to just below 13%. In turn, the decrease in rejections has a direct correlation to spot market rates, which will continue to bleed into the contract realm if patterns continue. Truckstop.com monitors the seven-day average rate per mile in over 100 plus flatbed lanes. And of those 100 plus, only seven have rates above or equal to last year's numbers. Some of those lanes still experiencing rate growth are Jersey City to Winchester, Virginia, Syracuse to Hartford, Denver to Salt Lake, and Dallas to LA. One thing to keep in mind when considering the status of the current housing and flatbed market are interest rates and their effect on the average consumer. Since the 30-year average rate peaked back in November last year at 7.08%, rates have come down a bit to 6.15%, but are still 2.59% above January of 22. The average sale price of a home in the U.S. is about $543,000, according to the Census Bureau's most recent publication. The difference in a month mortgage at the current 30-year fixed rate versus last year's rate without taxes, fees, and zero down on a $543,000 house is $851 per month. Over the life of a loan, that equates to an additional $25,000 for the same house purchased over a one-year period. Now, the good news remains in both initial jobless claims, now at their lowest point since September of 22, and housing backlogs, which have had both labor and seasonal implications. Backlogs in large part began stacking up in 22 as news headlines surrounding Fed hikes created a massive pull forward in demand. This has been your Bridge Logistics market update for the week of January 23rd.